Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you to my ePortfolio. Um, just a little bit about me first. I am currently a secondary special education instructional specialist. And what that mainly means is that I help um, middle school and high school special education teachers mainly with um, accommodations, modifications, and interventions. And mostly I work with special ed teachers, but occasionally I work with general education teachers also. And then I also uh, did quite a bit of professional development on the various aspects of special education this year. Um, what I'm working towards now is hopefully in my future will be the job of a special education coordinator. As far as my leadership philosophy, um, I believe that in order to be a good leader, I have to help people believe that I have something to offer and be able to um, build relationships and so that everyone can work together and work towards the same goal. Um, my passion is helping students succeed, whether they have disabilities or not. And so we need to put things in place um, and have everyone working towards the same goals in order for students to reach their highest potential. Um, my program of study, I am working towards um, the non-degree um, leadership endorsement for my license. As far as my resume, as I said, currently I'm a special ed instructional specialist. Um, before this, I was a collaborative teacher um, at one of the high schools in the district, and I mainly collaborated, collaborated in math classes. Um, and during most of that time, uh, I was also the department chair. So I had um, a good amount of leadership, leadership experience in that way, um, taking care of budgets, um, handling a lot of problems, those kinds of things. Um, for the A bibliography, um, I tried to um, work on a lot of special ed issues because that's what I'm working towards. And so you'll see a common thread um, throughout the different aspects of special ed. Um, I did think a lot of the articles were interesting to see um, current events and see what's going on because I don't really, I haven't had a chance to look as much at professional journals, journals as I would have liked. Um, as far as my district activities, um, one of the main things that I did this year that I have never done much of before is a lot of professional development. And I did district professional development for middle schools and high schools. Um, we started a new IEP program this year, so there were a lot of sessions um, around different aspects of that. I also did the district co-teaching training um, with regular ed and special ed teachers, um, and then various um, other targeted subjects on the IEP. As far as the elementary activities, um, the principal that I worked with was very good. Um, and gave me a, a wide range of activities. Um, but one that sticks in my mind the most is lunch duty. And I know that sounds silly, but it was very interesting. Um, I usually work with high school kids, and a lot of times they're kind of standoffish with adults unless you have a really good relationship with them. And I kind of saw that trend throughout the K through five um, lunch times that I supervised. Um, the, the kindergarten, first grade kids were very chatty, asking me questions, telling me different things about their day. And I got less and less questions and talk as it went up to the fifth grade. So it kind of led true to how high school students act towards adults also. As far as my um, secondary activities, 
Um, again, I did a lot of um, professional development, especially at the high school level, um, but some with middle school teachers. And we kind of tried to get the different aspects of the IEP. So I did professional development on standards-based goals, um, specially designed instruction, accommodations and modifications, and those kinds of things. And again, I also did the co-teaching um, session. And I also attended a couple of different, um, one was a webinar and one was an actual in-person session on shared leadership, which I thought was extremely interesting and I think it will be helpful in my future. And then as far as my program portfolio reflection, um, just some of the high points. Um, at first, I didn't know if I could do a complete online program. I'd never even taken an online class. Um, and then I also thought it was difficult at first with the standards and attaching them to assignments. And then in the ePortfolio, finding an activity for each part of every standard. Um, I didn't know if that was going to be possible. But as we went through the assignments with attaching standards to each one, I became more familiar with them. And it, it did seem easier by the time we got to the portfolio. Um, overall, I just thought this program was a great experience. It was I thought it was great with my work schedule um, to be able to set my own schedule for classes and assignments and figuring out how to get everything done um, and not having to work in seat time in class with that. Um, I think the hardest part of the program that I saw was the different um, digital parts that we had to use, the Canva, um, Draw IO, those kinds of things. Some of those were kind of difficult, and but I ended up getting all of them done. I think it gave me a wide range of digital tools to use in the future. So overall, I thought it was a great program. I appreciate um, all of the classes and all of the subjects that we studied. And I hope that they will help me in the future and help me reach the goals that I would like to reach. Thank you.